Hi there, welcome back to EU4 Persia. And we are fighting for our combat life here in Kabul. Everyone will be there against that army of the Afghans. And they have the much higher tech than we have. They have the much better general. What will happen? Will we be able to do this? Let's go. Saving the Mazandrani army, hopefully. To add another 5k. What will happen? Are we there yet? Come on. 2nd of January now. Our leader, the White Ram, the battlefield medic, is going for it. Roll well, roll well. Nazogotoki is uh, no joke. Ah, and he's losing. He's losing. Nazotoki is losing, and we are winning. We are winning. Our hero, White, the White Ram Abdulaziz, has done it. We have done it. Really, really close. Really, really good. You are moving to Kunduz. You are leaving back something. And moving to Jala. Jalalabad. Jalalabad is a great name. Look at that. What, <laughs> what, a, what a fight. Uh, won the battle against... Wow. <laughs> oh, and parallel to that, the Mazandranis attacked 16,000. Wow. Where was that? And here also they're coming, attacking Ladakh, our glorious allies. Let's go. Great stuff going on here. Great stuff. And Ming is going back here. <laughs> Ming, really. <laughs> Ah, well. Yeah, the Transoxianians are coming back. Ming wants military access. Oh, you know what? I somehow fear Ming. I don't want them to get military access. Hey! We've planted plantations in Kwasania. And now... What would be a nice quest for our Shahanshah Haidar the first of Karakoyundu, the just warrior diplomat? Let's see. Protect against Vijaya Nagar, an army equal or larger than Vijaya Nagar. Ninety-one. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> the rival of a rival would be a good, like, yeah, Brabant. Brabant. We should make friends with Brabant. That is so odd that we could do it. Brabant, that's cool. And we could conquer Kuawazim. Where is Kuawazim? Is that. I don't know. I don't know where that is. Here, oh, that would be that would be good too, but I think we have we have enough war for the moment. We'll try to make friends with Brabant. A diplomatic instinct tells us that we should make friends with countries with the color of the Ottomans. That's why we also made the Ottoman alliance because of the, that light green that is so so tempting. Yeah, the Transoxianians are coming. They're moving to Bukhara and Chirunji. And actually... Mm, I'm not sure. I think we should probably move in behind them once... Oh. Once we've done that, we move forward 
and held the Mazandranis. So we can, if we must, unite. They are moving to bulk. These guys are moving to Kiva, the ruthless leader. Interesting. Maybe Kulob, maybe Termez. Termez might be good. And we're definitely doing it. We're we're on the way. Oh, we can purchase something. And we've got multiple universities. Ha! <laughs> really good. Three trade companies. Ah, oh, that's a little bit much. Emperor of China. Can we reach that? <laughs> Probably not. Multicultural nation. Hmm. Absolutism must be at least 90. Um, I don't know. <laughs> but what could we provide? Uh, the Edict of Absolutism. That's okay. Flexible rivalries. No, we don't need that. Protecting forts. Fort maintenance on border with rival. They cost nothing? <laughs> oh my god. Efficient autonomy. Autonomy change cooldown. Hmm. Harsher treatment, administrative efficiency, plus five percent. I don't know what that brings us. Absolute government, yearly absolutism plus one. That's something we should take, but we wouldn't as the ruler that we are. What would we take as the ruler that we are? Probably either the absolute government Or the protecting force, but we don't need the money, so we'll, we'll go for absolute government. Maybe that will be good. We'll find out soon enough. Could go to Kish Jampur. No, they are not on their side. They're just there. Yeah, that's our, our siege with three movement. That's pretty good. Mm. We have a fortress there. Yes, we should definitely go there. Take that fortress. Siege of Kabul is one. Move these guys to Kulop. Just in case. How much would we need there? Oh, six regiments. That's a pretty good quota. And so we can half this. And can we move in there? No. Maybe there? No. Oh, that's wasteland too. Well, let's move there then. Just so that we don't have too much attrition. And we've got a ticking war score, I think. Because we've won so much. Oh, we need over, over 10 war score, okay. Still, it's good. It's good. Could move to Kish. Down poor here. Yeah, it's important to take these fortresses. They are moving towards Rin. Huh. Sherman. Sherman has such a small army now. I don't know why. What have they done there? They were so such a proud nation, beating up Transoxiana handily all the time, and now something has happened. How much would it cost to embrace the? Wow! Oh my God! No, we'll not embrace them yet. 
Minus 64% really. <laughs> They're moving to Bukhara. Will they attack? A ruthless leader and we've got a nothing leader here. Mm. You know what? You can attach to this army. Please attach. <laughs> There's Janpur. There is Afghanistan. They are moving to Badakhstan. I should probably move away here because they are trying to get the better of us. When are they there? On 28th of June and you are on 20th of June. You are on 10th of June. Okay, we'll wait a bit. Is Afghanistan also at war with Janpur? No. Should probably keep going there. They're moving back to Badakhstan. Ninth of June. Hmm. Need someone to help. Moving to Badakhstan. They're moving to Samarkand now. Ooh, that could be bad find out soon. 30th of June, 10th of July, 18th, 30th of June, 18th of June, 10th of July. And yet we've got a fight. 10th of July, Third of July. Sixth of July and you. Third of July. Mm -hmm. So are we getting them? Yeah, we are getting them if we attack now. 3rd of July, 7th, 4th of July, 7th of July, 10th of July. That's perfect. We should get them. It's, it's tough and it's close and it's terrible, but Still, we are there. Golden Ram <laughs> speeding in and now we need someone better. Come on, come on in. The White Ram <laughs> with terrible roads, but now <laughs> taking it back and we've got it. They ran away. Mm. Actually, we need to... Probably move in there. Ahmad Day is doing relatively well, gotta say, with that. 
Now it's terrible though. Really terrible and uh, we should move back to Berjand if we can do that. They're moving to Kulop. We're moving to Kulop. And they're moving into the whole new other direction. We cannot move through here. Mm. Yeah, let's let's stay in Kutalan. Would be better. Split these armies up. Golden Ram. Plus five. Shervan is beaten. We get to recover a bit. Now the White Ram has a full army, but these guys are not full at all. And I think we should probably go for the Grey Ram. 2 1 1 we've got. 2 1 3 is much better. Armad Day. Cannot give them a leader. That's okay. Let's move through Mazadran. Let's just cross it. Peace offer from Transoxiana. Hmm, that's actually good because we don't want anything from Transoxiana. Uh huh. They may be negotiating for themselves. Hey, Transoxiana, it's okay. <laughs> We're not interested in that. Uh, progress against Transoxiana. We'll win handily if we move them out, and we'll get a ton of ducats. So, let's say yes. Wow. Well, that's pretty good. And now... We've had some battles, and I think we're in a very good... in a very good state right now. The Dark Two. To this place you move here and you can Malva Ladakh Khorasan yeah you can move to the border regions here the spoils of war just uh, can we make a separate piece with Khorasan by the way I can now take that back. We want Herat. They won't give it to us. <laughs> Full annexation? That doesn't work all right. <laughs> Persian vassal? No. Well, what could we... Yeah, we would go for something like this. That we would have to have 100%. Ah. <laughs>
There's the Afghanistan army. Uh, we'll take them on with this army once it's recovered. What a war. <laughs> 33, 36, very nice. In the middle of the desert, we've got 36. Persia occupied Jalalabad. Very nice, very, very good. Jalalabad. And we can go to, oh my God. <laughs> All right, we cannot go there. What leader shall you get? Um, Grey Ram, better than no one. <laughs> Let's move into Shervan. What an army. Nazotoki there is again. There he is again. What will it bring us to embrace? That. Goods produced plus ten percent. That might be good, actually. Hmm. Still pretty costly. Uh, anyways, we have the money, so let's go. Can already go for a bit of military technology, which is good now. Line infantry, thanks to bayonets. Each musketeer could function as a pikeman as well. This allowed pikes to be removed from infantry equipment and provided infantry formations with more firepower. Really nice. Happy to have that here. So, for now, thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. May Persia be with you. We'll uh, strengthen our grasp on Afghanistan in the next episode. Have a good time until then and happy gaming.